uh, now let's uh, consider another example in one bit uh, dynamic branch prediction so this is a dynamic dynamic branch prediction so in the previous video i explained about what exactly the dynamic branch prediction is and i had taken one example also but still if you're facing any doubts so in this video you'll get a uh, complete clarity on what exactly this one bit branch uh, dynamic branch prediction so let us consider an example so before considering an example let me give a uh, a simple overview on what exactly this one bit dynamic branch prediction is actually uh, first of all why we are taking the predictions a prediction is nothing but it is nothing but a guess so guessing the hardware is going to guess whether what will be the uh, expected output means what we have to be considered so a predictions a branch predictions are of two types one is the static and another is the dynamic that we already seen right so stat the static is used to resolve the branch hazards so it is going to resolve all these two are resolving the branch hazards use it to resolve the branch hazards but in the in uh, so to resolve the branch hazards so uh, so resolving the branch hazards by assuming a given outcome and proceeding this static is trying to proceed okay without waiting to see the actual branch outcome so that means don't spend on historical trends this static don't spend time on the previous or the historical trends you call it as a historical trends okay that is either it has to start with the prediction taken or not taken this is what the static will do the static and the dynamic or use it to resolve the branch hazards okay so the static is always don't spend the time on historical trend it's always follow the uh, assuming the given outcome and proceeding without uh, waiting to see the actual branch outcome so uh, either it take the branch it prediction is taken or it is not taken the prediction that is what this uh, static is and whereas the dynamic is the dynamic depends on past behavior okay this is what i am saying so dynamic is depends on past behavior that is the historical trends it depends upon historical trends depends on past behavior okay so this is what we had seen in the previous videos what exactly the static and dynamic uh, okay so now let's have a look on this one bit branch prediction so we are talking about the uh, dynamic branch prediction so in the previous video i explained one bit dynamic branch prediction by taking an example so in this uh, video also i am taking another example to explain one bit branch prediction so this one bit branch prediction if we uh, if we miss predicted once about the branch we change our mind instantly about the next prediction that means one bit branch prediction means after one wrong prediction one wrong prediction bit is inverted what was the predicted bit why you call it as a predicted bit the predicted bit is inverted this is what the one bit branch prediction after one wrong prediction so the next prediction a bit is going to be in, inverted that is taken is taken uh, converted into non taken and non taken is converted into taken that you call it as a one bit branch prediction okay so let me take a simple example to understand what exactly this one bit branch prediction is let me take a simple uh, uh, for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than 4 i plus plus okay so this is a for loop here the conditions are given okay i less than 4 i plus plus so if this uh, loop is going to be executed what will be the outcome let us take the outcome what will be the outcome so the outcome when i is equal to 0 starts with 0 i is equal to 1 i is equal to 2 i is equal to 3 and i is equal to 4 it will not work because i less than 4 okay so let me take i is equal to 4 till so what will be the expected output here when i is equal to 2 0 the outcome is means branch has to be taken 
because the condition is true i is equal to 1 the condition is true branch ha branch has to be taken branch has to be taken branch has to be taken i is equal to 4 branch has not to be taken this is the expected output okay the expected output means if the branch is taken these are the uh, taken and in, uh, when i is equal to 4 not taken then what will be the hardware prediction what the hardware is going to do the hardware is going to be predicted okay so always what it is doing right okay so the hardware is always starts with the non taken so it will assumes that the branch i don't want to be taken so not taken it is going to be started okay so starts with not in because whenever the hardware table the hardware branch table will be there so that hardware table is initially contains zero if you take it's a zero that means zero means not taken one means taken that we all know that okay so the hardware is predicted branch has not to be taken so but here taken and this is not taken so after one wrong prediction this is a wrong prediction right or wrong this is a wrong prediction. Whenever the wrong prediction is there, the bit is going to be inverted. So next, when i is equal to 1, okay, non-taken uh, is the wrong prediction. So let me take taken. Okay, true. Taken, taken and taken. So it's continue with the taken only. Okay, it is continue with the taken only. So but again here the non-taken is there. So, that is the branch is predicted wrong. Whenever the wrong is there, next time it is going to be converted to non-taken. So, this is a one bit predict, one bit dynamic uh, branch prediction. After one wrong prediction, predicted bit is going to be inverted. So, this is what the hardware into. So, here only a two cycles are going to be stalls. A stall, a stall will be occurred. So, here non-taken is going to be converted into taken and taken is going to be converted into non-taken. Okay. So, total uh, two clock cycle stalls will be occurred here. That's it. Only the clock cycle stalls. It is trying to reduce the hazards. So, hazards has to be reduced. So, it is trying to reduce the hazard by using the hardware implementation. Let us consider an example. Uh, to understand what exactly this one bit prediction is, dynamic prediction is, for i is equal to 0, i less than 3, i plus plus, okay. For j is equal to 0, j less than uh, 4, let's take a j plus plus, a steps are there, okay. So, this is what the program uh, logic has given a for loop, okay. So, start with history table. The history table contains 0 initially. 0 initially means 0 means what? Non-taken. 0 means a non-taken. Okay. So, now what will be the branch outcome? Branch outcome. So, the branch outcome, suppose when i is equal to 0, it enter into the loop. Okay. So, now j is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 4. The 4, whenever the condition is false, again come back from the loop. i is equal to 1. Now, j is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now i is equal to 2. j is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, the i is equal to 3 is also considering. i is equal to 3 because that is a loop is going to be uh, exit. Okay. So, all non taken will be coming. i is equal to 3 means j non taken, non taken will be coming. Right. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, let us take the 4 also. This is okay. Uh, okay. So, here starting what history table contains 0 initially. I am taking 0 initially. That means the first branch outcome so whenever the 0 is there j is 0 okay so 0 is less than 4 you you can enter into the branch 1 you can enter into the branch when 2 less than 4 you can enter into the branch 3 less than 4 you can enter into the branch but 4 less than 4 non taken branch is non taken so again come back from the for loop okay now now i is equal to 1 so this time j is equal to 0 
taken, 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 non taken. In the same way, taken, 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 non taken. So another one more cycle is going to be repeated. So this is a branch outcome. This is a branch outcome. Then what will be the hardware prediction? What will be the hardware prediction? So the hardware prediction here it is. So when j is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, it's going on. Okay. So, what it, what it happened, right? Okay. So, when j is equal to 0, when j is equal to 0, first history table contains 0 initially. That is, starts with the non-taken. Always the hardware prediction state that I don't want to take the branch. But here, the outcome is taken and this is non-taken. That is a wrong prediction. Whenever the wrong prediction is there, one bit, wrong, one bit wrong prediction is there, automatically this is going to be inverted. So, inverted to taken. Starts with the non-taken, but here the taken is there and this is a non-taken. So, try to invert the bit because the prediction is wrong. That is what the one bit prediction. The one bit prediction means after one wrong prediction, prediction bit is going to be inverted. Non-taken is going to be taken. So, taken, taken, taken. But this is non-taken and here it is taken the wrong prediction. So, bit has to be inverted, non-taken. But here this is taken and this is non-taken. Try to invert the bit. Taken, 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 taken. Wrong prediction. Okay, converted into non-taken. Wrong prediction. Taken, 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 taken. Wrong prediction. That means here, here, for every cycle, for every for loop, okay, for every for loop, one, one cycle is wrong prediction. And here the two cycles are wrong prediction. Here one cycle is wrong prediction and the two cycles are one cycle, one cycle. And here the two cycles and the two cycles are the wrong predictions. Okay. So this is what this for loop is going to be executed. So there's a branch outcome. Whatever we are taking is one cycle, one cycle, one cycle. Total this is the uh, starting with the taken and only the four cycles, four to five cycles are uh, Wrong predictions. That is the stalls are going to be occurred. But here, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 stalls are going to be occurred. Okay, that is a hardware prediction. Hardware is going to be predicted your uh, outcomes. Okay. Suppose, for this example, let us take the nested loop structure. Each loop 10 times. Each loop, let's take each loop 10 times repeated so what will be the outcome each loop whatever the each loop this loop is going to be repeated 10 times if it is going to one time okay so whenever the branch outcome is there if you consider the branch outcome that is the exact output the system output so whenever you take the branch outcome each loop is going to be repeated 10 times means okay so total how many will be occurred here okay so this is the branch outcome. So, you will get totally, let me take, okay. So, the one bit predictor is if the history table, you have taken it as a zero, non-taken only. Let's start with the non-taken. So, if you start with the non-taken, okay. So, if you start with the non-taken, uh, out, branch outcome is here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means total 10 stalls are coming. 10 stalls. 10 stalls are coming. What will be the hardware prediction? What will be the hardware prediction? That is each loop 10 times repeated. 10 times repeated. So here if it is 10 times repeat, this is one loop. 1, 2, 3, 4, like that 10 times repeated. So here only one cycle, one cycle, one cycle, like the 10 cycles. 10 cycles means 10 stalls are going to be occurred. 10 times non-taken is appeared. Okay. So, in the hardware prediction, each side, each loop consisting of two wrong predictions, non-taken, taken, non-taken, taken, non-taken, non taken, taken, two wrong predictions are there. That is 2 into 10, 20 stalls. That is 20 missed predictions. Missed predictions. 
20 miss predictions are occur. So, I hope you understand it clearly. So, here if I take each loop 10 times repeated, each loop is 10 times, 1 time, 2 time, 3 time, like the 10 times is repeated, the branch outcome is generally it has to be only 10 stalls. But the hardware prediction is going to be created 20 stalls. Okay, even that is created at 20 stalls, you will get an output because this is a hardware uh, Hardware itself is going to be uh, generate the output. So, even though stalls is in, uh, a little bit increasing, you will get an output. Okay. So, this is one bit predictions, one bit dynamic predictions. So, to overcome, because here if you see the stalls are more, the 10 stalls and uh, that will be increased 20 stalls. So, to reduce that, Okay, to reduce that stalls, we are going to 2-bit predictions, 2-bit dynamic prediction. Okay, it may not good thing if you, uh, if you are going with these uh, predictions because the stalls are going to be increases. So, better use a 2-bit branch prediction instead of 1-bit. Okay, so that we will see in the next video. So, how the 2-bit uh, dynamic branch prediction has to be uh, taken. Thank you.